It's National Teen Driver Safety Week. Last week, last night, we told you some of the most common hazards for young, young or inexperienced drivers. We also told you about the importance of managing your speed, which is a leading cause of traffic crashes. Tonight, we'll tell you about the two other leading causes. You know, if we do anything else, then pay attention when we're behind the wheel, we're opening ourselves up for bad things to happen. Other than speeding, one of the two other leading causes of traffic crashes is distracted driving. There are more distractors for drivers than ever before, from phones and radios to bright lights. As well as passengers in vehicles. They're big distractors when it comes into that. I know Missouri's doing uh, different things. Uh, they have the intermediate driving license privilege that tries to limit a lot of that stuff for teen drivers to make it safer for them. The other leading cause? driving under the influence. One in every 10 teens drives impaired or drives under the influence. They don't have the experience they need to be able to operate. And then when you add alcohol into the mix or drugs into the mix impairment, it's just a recipe for disaster. So, um, you know, we always recommend they don't do that. We need to make sure that we're educating them. So young drivers and parents, when you get ready to hit the road, put down your phone, do not drink and drive and treat driving like it's your full time job because it is. People die every year on Missouri's roadways and every roadway throughout the United States due to someone making a bad decision, deciding to drink and drive or driving while distracted. Um, there's no reason for it. Uh, you know, we can eliminate those things. That's a, that's a choice that we choose to do when we get behind the wheel. So we wanna make sure we're making good choices. Driving is a full-time job. We need to make sure that we give all of our attention to the full-time job of driving. Tune in Thursday night at 10 to learn tips for driving in inclement weather.